Hello guys, welcome to a new video. While playing Tomb Raider games, Lara says some cool and funny quotes. So I decided to choose 14 quotes that I liked the most. But to be honest, it was actually really hard to choose. I wanted to, to put them all. Um, and maybe um, in the future, if I did this video again, I would probably change my mind. It's really weird. But for now, I decided to choose these 14 quotes. So let's start. To be honest, I thought I was not going to have any quotes from the Survivor Trilogy. But then I remember that in the beginning of the first game, we hear this one, which is very inspirational. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I always loved Lara's sarcastic lines and I kind of missed them in the last games. In Tomb Raider 2, I liked how she is attacked by a guy and makes a joke by apologizing for defending herself in case he, he was just trying to help her open the door. Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> in Tomb Raider 5, in the Russian levels, when Lara manages to enter the submarine, she ends up trapped in the cargo room, so she says this. Economy class. Lara in Tomb Raider, Angel of the Darkness was a savage. While I thought it was funny, I understand why some people didn't like that attitude. It was a bit over the top sometimes, but I don't know, I, I think it was really... Sometimes it was really funny and it was done in a smart way. You know? Anyway, you're still gonna see in this video some quotes from this game because it's my favorite. And this spot is for the moment a woman from the streets, if you know what I mean, named Janice, sees Lara as an attractive woman, so she says to Lara in a nice way to leave the place so she doesn't lose her clients. Then we, as Lara, can decide if we feel offended or not by choosing a line. That line would be that Lara is better than her. Poor Janice, she seems such a nice person and she was trying to give a compliment to Lara, but not in the best way. Not a lot of passing trade at this hour. It's early yet. Move along, ma chère. You make the place look crowded. I wouldn't worry. We're not in the same class. <laughs> that attitude won't get you far around here, sweet thing. This scene in Tomb Raider 5 is funny, but kinda sad. Pierre helps Lara get up because he wants the artifact, but then, in a very silly and funny way, Lara managed to get rid of him and keep the artifact. The... stone? Now, now, Miss Croft, you gave me your word. Come now, Lara! Lara, you promised! Boom! Uh, could you find it in your heart to help me up? I appear to be sleeping! Pierre, you know nothing would please me more, but we have an agreement. Agreement? Not to lay a finger on you, remember, silly? Anyway, busy girl. Got to go. But I... Don't let me hold you up. In Tomb Raider 3 in London, there is a mercenary that says that if he stops Lara, he will receive enough money for his retirement. But something unexpected happens and Lara makes a sarcastic joke. For some people, like yourself, we get a special bonus. I'm flattered. I mean, I could even be retiring from you. Then you might like to mind. <laughs> the bell. <laughs> Happy retirement. Almost at the end of the Japan level, in Tomb Raider Legend, 
Takamoto is mad at Lara for finishing his men. Lara responds with a joke on how he doesn't need to worry about paying them money anymore. You have disrespected me. You have broken into my house. You have killed my men. I've simplified your payroll. And now, if you don't mind, I'll streamline your inventory. I love this next quote because it shows how Lara is determined and never gives up. Good luck, Lara. I fear you may need it. I make my own luck. This one is kind of hardcore. Ludic is trying to sell a weapon for a price that Lara is unable to pay. So she gets mad and is very rude to him. Hearing this quote surprised me and right after I thought it was pretty funny. How much? 800 euros. Give me a break. How would I be carrying that kind of money? Seller's market, I'm afraid. I ought to just take it, you runt. Choke on it. I really never understood the use of the word men instead of humans to describe the human race. Sometimes I'm too literal with words and think about those things. So I thought it was smart and funny that Lara gives this answer to her friend. I fear there are things in the vaults man was not meant to see. I'm not a man, Jean, and I'm always very, very careful. Almost at the end of the Peru level in Tomb Raider Legend, some mercenaries start to attack Lara's friend and go down to the tomb to attack Lara as well. So Lara says a cool phrase that means she will finish them and they will be already in a tomb, so basically that would be the perfect place for them to be. Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. This is one of my favorites. Lara finds a cannibal that says he wants to hit her. She responds that she is also pretty famished and may hit him instead. And the sound he makes is very funny because the, that reaction is kind of hypocrite, you know? And I like how she reversed the roles. It's day. You make plenty good flesh pot. You forget. I might be quite hungry myself. Famished, actually. Uh. In the final scene of Tomb Raider Legend, Lara gets really mad at her ex-best friend, Amanda, who was now her adversary. Because she indirectly caused the incident of Lara's mother and was not answering Lara's questions, and also being very annoying, Lara starts to threaten her, and when Amanda finally gives her the answer, Lara decides to not kill her, and basically she, she now only is alive thanks to Lara, you know, like every time she breathes, that's thanks to Lara, because she didn't finish her in that part. And I thought that was pretty badass. You'll never understand. I'm wasting my breath. From this moment, your every breath is a gift from me. Some of you probably will not agree with this first place, but everyone would have a different top quotes from mine, you know, like I said in the beginning. There, there are so many great lines to choose from, but for some reason this one got really stuck on my head and I kind of related to that in certain situations where I hear people saying stupid things. This one Lara says it because she's talking with a guy that says that he and others will be immortal and other random things. For our part in that triumph, he will grant us immortality. If I had a coconut for every time some lunatic said something like that. Now I would love to know your favorite quotes and 
basically this video is a new version of an old and very popular video that I had to delete along with others because of YouTube's stupid rules. Uh, I will explain it better in a future video. You know, you will know what happened. But deleting that video broke my heart. You know, yeah. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the, the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like to help this video reach more people and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, bye bye!